everyone this is Brandy L back with another video and I'm so excited to be here guys and I'm so happy um, let me just let you know that this is one of my favorite pieces it's an old Caribbean house originally I did this for a client and um, I am so happy that I was requested to do this because I absolutely loved making this piece um, this is kind of, this is actually a cultural piece um, from my island because this is how houses were and the style of houses in the old time days, the sweet old time days. Um, it reminds me of the song, um, bring back the old time days, but I can't sing, but um, you'll get the picture. So um, what you're seeing here is me doing in some of the ground the groundwork and just to make the ground I really didn't I wanted to show all of the video but it would have been too long because the piece with the me actually painting in the house was it took it took it took a while it took a really long time because of all the um, because of all the details that was required to put into it so I know a lot of people have problems doing greenery so in this video I really focused on the greenery and showed my technique of how I really of how I really do this um, if you are enjoying what you are seeing so far um, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and to like the video because um, so you'll be able to know when I post more videos and you know just to be able to show you all my my painting process or sketching processes all right so um this is when i was doing um a mango tree in the very very far back i had to actually use a different technique um because um, usually when I'm doing trees very, very far away, I would, you know, use my brush in a kind of speckle way and, or use speckles. But in this instance, I, um, I actually drew in the shape of the leaves because the mango leaves are very distinct from other trees and that tree is relatively close by, right? So that is why it is it is I did it like that so you could actually see the leaves and a lot of details and I'm really pleased with how that come out came out I also have the big red tree that you're seeing there to the side it's a it's a poetry and they are so beautiful they have really beautiful colors sometimes it's bright orange sometimes it's red dependent on the kind of poetry and um, I already painted it in because it took me a while but here I realized that you know what I need to see some more of the background some of the blue shining through the tree coming through the leaves so that is what i'm doing here i'm putting in the blue um of the that would really represent the sky and i think when i did that it looked um more realistic right um i also did um some banana trees so you would see exactly how i did the banana trees and the other um foliage in some of the background on the other side right um but i think i um it, so this video would be packed with a lot of things a lot of different um parts for the video because it is i know it guys i know it's a really long one this time but a lot of people wanted to see the process of how i actually created this piece so I said, you know what, let me just, you know, do the video of the greenery because I know greenery is really, can, can be a difficult part of it. Also notice that I'm using a water, uh, uh, the Aqua Pintel um, brush. It's really mainly used for watercolors. I actually don't have any water in the brush because this entire piece was done with acrylic paint, right? Um so i what happened is i was using a small brush for the actual house but what happened is i i broke the brush by in by mistake while i was trying to mix 
um, revitalize some of the older colors because you know the um the acrylic tend to try and get really hard but if you put a little water you may be able to reactivate it and i broke my brush so this is the other smallest brush i have because my other brushes are were too too large so i decided to use my watercolor brush my brush for watercolors and i um was able to get the fine details with this brush that i needed so you see me now using the brush uh, a lot although i used other brushes okay i'm using a bigger brush in this part here um I also wanted to show you guys how I actually mix the paints um, because it's not like watercolor where you could just add water and you'll get different hues. You actually have to mix the paints um, and add white to get the different hues and sometimes it can be a little difficult to do um, and um, acrylics is probably a little dif more difficult than watercolor. I find watercolor is a lot easier to work with but it's really 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 a fun medium and I absolutely love it. Um, well, I did a coconut tree. I think you saw the coconut tree already, how I, how I did that. And after this piece, I believe it's going to be um, a banana tree. And after that, it's going to be the hibiscus tree. I did the hibiscus, a video of the hibiscus flower. I will put a link to that below. And um, because hibiscus flowers and hibiscus trees are really prevalent in my island and there are a lot of them so I it was it just made sense to put that in this piece so I um that's all I have to say on this piece that's all I have to say in this video it it re I really had fun guys it, it took me a while but I just I thoroughly 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 enjoyed the entire piece so I'm gonna play music for the rest of the video um, don't forget to subscribe and you can see the links below um, of all my social media handles where you can get, get to me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and things like that. So y'all can subscribe the video, like the video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.